doing a terrific job under some very, very difficult conditions. Needless to say, safety of the public and our firefighters is the number one priority. Without further ado, it's my privilege to introduce Supervisor Michael Antonovich. Please welcome Michael. Well, as Jody said, we want to do thank the county's fire department, our sheriff's department, public works, and our Department of Animal Control is out there helping those individuals who have animals that have to be relocated and assisting in that area. Many times when we have these fires and helping with the evacuations, you always get the question, what about the animals? Well, they are being cared for and we are providing that service. As you've heard and know that the fire in La Cunata, the station fire started at 3.20 p.m. on Wednesday and that 5% of that was contained as of 6 o'clock this morning. Uh, 150 homes had been evacuated, which was a mandatory evacuation. Others have been encouraged to evacuate. 18, 1,800 homes and 52 buildings have been threatened, and it's a fire with one fire, fireman was injured. Through our mutual aid packs, we have fire departments all the way from Northern California down to Southern Stream, Southern California, from San Diego to Sacramento, you see it up Fremont, California, just uh, rolled in about 10 minutes ago. These mutual aid packs are in force to help people to save life and property, and this is a very strong indication why we can never shortchange public safety. We can never shortchange public safety, which is there to protect life and property. These are our first line of defense for our communities and why the County of Los Angeles continues to support the Fire and Sheriff's Department. And we want to encourage everybody to listen to the public information. And I'm very sorry to say that much of the local television news coverage, which used to be covering live, is not covering this fire to the extent necessary to inform our people. The radio stations have been making reports in the print media, but print media comes the day after these events. And we need to encourage our people to be informed now on how to protect their life and property. So please listen to the local fire and police agencies as they are telling the people what to do. Do not risk your lives to save your home, save your life, and let the public safety save your home. I would also like to say that in the Morris fire, that started on Tuesday afternoon and 85% of that fire is contained. No homes were threatened and over 2,200 acres were burned and, and we expect full containment on Monday. We have had, the questions will come up about super scoopers. The super scoopers are going to arrive on Thursday. Uh, while we requested the super scoopers to be earlier last year when the board authorized them, uh, because we have to request our extension of a contract we made that request then, we're hopefully that that extension will be granted next year, but that is why we did not have the delay, we have that delay this year. The governor has declared a state of emergency, and I will have the motion before the Board of Supervisors on Tuesday declaring this area a state of emergency as well. Thank you.